Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much again for joining me here. I hope you're having a great day. Let's take a look here at AVAX, see what's going on. Uh, 27.95 at this point here, breaking our descending trend, looking like a slight reversal here on, on our hands, but we got to recognize we got this 0.382 FIB level, more importantly, the local, local high. We got to see how $28 holds here so far for AVAX, and if that may be a rejection spot or the price just continues upwards with, uh, with no regard of anything going on right now. Keep in mind, most altcoins are doing pretty well today. They're up about three to four percent, which is almost a one to one ratio with Bitcoin in a lot of ways, uh, because Bitcoin has essentially broken its bullish rectangle to the upside and has since uh, maintained that range. Just know there's a lot of liquidation to the upside. Could see the price turn around around that 69.5 mark, uh, which I'm expecting to see a reversal, hoping for a short in that area. But at this point here, honestly, with AVAX, um, in order for it to continue higher, Bitcoin has to continue higher, which to me seems kind of less likely considering how high Bitcoin already is and how much liquidation there is at um, those price points. But more importantly, Bitcoin has a very significant delta with its uh, liquidation, and that, that does cause, uh, give me some pause for concern here. In other words, if you take a quick look here, let's pull up Bitcoin's chart. You can see there is over 10 billion in liquidation delta, telling me that there's way too many longs in the market, and some of them might get destroyed here soon with a, um, a bit of a turnaround. Now again, the price probably won't correct itself down to the low 60K range. I think 65 to 67K is probably the best case scenario for Bitcoin if it pulls back, but it's still something that seems seemingly more and more likely at this point. Again, I'm not trying to uh, convince you that AVAX is gonna drop because of that, but we haven't seen a very very beneficial pairing with AVAX here lately based on that. We do see, however, of course, this previous high working as a pretty solid low now. So with us not closing below that 27, 25 mark, that could spell further upside. So let's look at liquidation instead of speculating here and go from there. So we take a look, there are some local shorts at 28.50 that could get hit here soon. Uh, it's not a massive concentration, but we kind of add that up at somewhere between maybe a quarter of a billion dollars which is weird to downplay a quarter of a billion dollars, but that amount in liquidation, it's really common. Uh, we have a larger concentration, about 500 to 700 million at about $30.50. I think the likelihood of that happening is pretty low. I feel like Bitcoin would have to at least maintain its range. If Bitcoin does pull back, I think AVAX will too, though. It's proven to be fairly weak lately, but again, that's just kind of how most altcoins were looking yesterday. Today, they're all looking quite strong, but it's in in light of you know Bitcoin's shadow. So please understand that. Anyways, twenty eight dollars we can see here uh, for um, AVAX, a pretty significant amount of delta as well. A lot of shorts in the market, implying that the price would continue higher based on those late shorts getting swept. Okay, again, we can see a majority of them all right here upwards of this $29 mark, okay? So let's look at the backend data. Sorry, now that we've looked at the backend data, let's look at the front end, so to speak, uh, what's going on with the charts here. And we look at the moving averages, we can see the 20-day SMA kind of hanging out there right below the price action. That's generally construed as a positive sign. Um, I was hoping we'd see that break below so the short would continue to come down lower. At this point, that could be an invalidation. Okay, now what I mean by invalidation is that you know, when you have price action that breaks a certain threshold, it implies it'll probably continue further up. Now, the 20-day SMA was not a threshold at all. It's just kind of an indication of what side of the tracks you're on, and staying above that is a positive sign for the upside. Okay? However, I think $28, $28 to $29, unless we can close above that here soon, I don't really feel super confident taking a long with AVAX either. Okay? This kind of goes to show there. So anyways... Take a look at our moving averages here. We can kind of see, or sorry, with RSI, RSI is at 50 or higher. That's generally positive. Money flow index right there with it. Stochastic RSI swinging down and MACD trying to diverge. So these are all signs that are trying to break bearish but haven't yet, okay? So really, you just don't want to take a long into that. That's really the consensus. And you really don't want to short into this either, just considering the, 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 the situation here, even though we are trying to, I wouldn't say this is a double top, but we're, we're testing this resistance range twice. That is essentially a sign that we could see the price turn around a little bit. Now, I don't really think we're just going to see the price drop unless Bitcoin does. And most of, the, of my consensus in the last 24 hours is that Bitcoin is topping itself out initially. And if that is the case, then we will see a pullback further from altcoins. But for right now, today, as of this moment, altcoins are responding well, but just know it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio for AVAX to Bitcoin. But if you compare these charts, <laughs> if Bitcoin pulls back, I confidently can say AVAX will too. Okay? I think it's less likely for AVAX to surge. Uh, the only reason that would happen is if Bitcoin maintained its range for the weekend. 
Okay, that's where, that's where we could see some positivity. So either way you look at it, folks, Bitcoin dominance is way too high uh, to, to warrant any kind of long positions with, a, with uh, AVAX or other altcoins for the moment. Um, okay, so again, that's kind of where we're at. The four hour time frame, we're still below the, tw the 50 day SMA here, but we've broken above the 20. It basically just implies we've broken this descending trend line, which is usually a favorable sign. So four hour time frame looks pretty decent here in that sense. We're up over 50 on the RSI again, um, with money flow index kind of trailing behind. MACD converging. There's a lot of reasons why AVAX should continue higher from a transitionary time frame. Okay. So again, of course, the daily is going to look kind of weird because it's been bearish for the most part. The four hour time frame is looking beneficial because we're seeing that shift in momentum. That's again, uh, just a residual effect of altcoins essentially following Bitcoin. Okay. So what we want to see is a decoupling there essentially where altcoins do better than Bitcoin. And there's very few altcoins today that, that have proven that. Most of them are just kind of like, yay, we're, we're, we're relief rallying today. And there's no official um, you know, green light to take longs yet. At least that's just my personal opinion. Um, I'm probably going to be wrong. And that's, it's, it happens quite a lot, especially in these situations, just because I don't like to, I don't like to take longs at, 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 the, at the top for Bitcoin for starters. In situations like this too with altcoins, we got to see how they respond to Bitcoin's potential correction. Bitcoin maintains its range. I think altcoins could very well surge, and that that would be a good consideration. But for right now, as of this moment, um, you know, Friday. This is a Friday leading into a weekend. It just feels kind of weird to me. I don't like these kind of moves on Fridays. Just personally, just I almost want to steer clear of them completely, based on this being a Friday and a lot of funkiness happens over the weekend. Anyways, each mobile cloud is indicating that we have somewhat of a green light. We've got two out of three reasons here to consider a long position, unless AVAX drops you know, below this local point of control at 2750 here, a rough estimate, then I think we're more likely to see the price pivot off that level. So that's kind of where we're at there. Now, generally speaking, mostly positive here for AVAX, but you do got to recognize this comes with a grain of salt and that Bitcoin, if it pulls back, we're probably going to see a correction from altcoins too. What we want to pay attention to over the next 24 to 48 hours is how well specific altcoins perform contrary to how Bitcoin is doing. That's really what you want to look at. Uh, right now, it's really just too early to tell. Everything is kind of like, oh, cool, Bitcoin's going, I'll follow. That's what we're seeing right now. So nothing super spectacular, no outliers yet. By the way, I hope that makes sense. I described that correctly. Thanks again for watching. Uh, you want to become a better trader, CryptoCash.Tech is a site linked down below. Also, be sure to check out BitUnix, Phenomenal Exchange. It's our primary exchange for our community. Um, if you use my link to register, you get some awesome rewards. It's available till, until the end of the month. So just heads up. Take advantage of that offer. It's a really nice uh, feature. All right, we'll go ahead and post our playout chart on Twitter, Telegram, and Discord. We'll look forward to seeing the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.